Hey guys, this is Rolf, Block Ops. It's Friday, May 12th, and I got some updates for you. Today's been a pretty good day. So first off, we got official word from Bittrex that they're going to be supporting the fork of Z Classic to Zencash for any Z Classic that's on the exchange. That's big news. That means you don't have to offload your Z Classic from Bittrex, and it means you're going to be able to get Zencash when it becomes available. And there's a few specifics that they had in their update, and I'll go through those just so we're all clear on the details of that. Um, also, uh, Josh got the test net going with other guys on the development team for the Zencash uh, node software. So we're really close on that to being able to put out a guide on how to build secure nodes. So I'm really excited about that. And I've been working on um, a very detailed guide for building a secure node. Um, I'm going to write it down and there's going to be line by line things that you can copy and paste on a VPS and different things like that. Um, so that'll, that'll be pretty good and, and I'll talk a little bit about secure nodes in just a sec. Uh, launch party, we're going to have that on May 23rd uh, and that's, at, that's in New York City right near the Consensus Hotel and Seven to nine, we got 75 uh, spots reserved. Uh, we're sending out invites to folks that can live stream it, to folks that can report on it, to people um, in the industry, people that have been supporters of Z Classic and Zencash for a long time. I'm not handling the invites. Uh, Jane is. If you are going to be there and you would like an invite, contact her on the Slack or some other way. And uh, if there's other folks that you know that are, work within Zencash, like Rob and Josh, uh, reach out. Uh, we, want, we want to have uh, folks there that really can help us spread the word and have, uh, to celebrate with our supporters. I know 75 is not a lot, that's why we're making it invite only, but right after that we're going to move on out to the main bar and celebrate with anybody else who's going to be showing up to party with us. So it's going to be a good night. All right, so I'll talk in just a second uh, about the secure nodes and the specifics on that. But overall, it's a pretty good day. Oh, and uh, some folks asked me to also talk a little bit about who the heck I am and what I'm doing and why I'm involved with Zen. So I'll, I'll do a few minutes of that at the end. So the first part about the Bitrix support for the fork from Z Classic to Zen Cash is that they've announced it and they're doing it, which is wonderful. It's awesome. In their announcement on their um, on their Zendesk uh, platform, which you can get to by going to our blog post and linking to it. Uh, there's some specifics about how they're going to be doing this. So the way I understand it is obviously you're going to be able to keep your Z Classic on Bittrex and then when Zencash becomes available for trading on Bittrex, you'll have Zencash show up in your wallet, which is going to be uh, after, sometime after the launch, obviously. Okay. Um, they're going to put the everybody's Z Classics wallet into maintenance mode. Uh, they said two hours before block 110,000. So any guys that are thinking of waiting up until the very last block to buy or transfer your Z Classic, don't do that um, because they need to have time to do these types of things. Things don't, don't happen just automatically and quickly. And we calculate that that's going to be sometime on May 18th. That's Thursday next week. And Z Classic is going to stay, my understanding, in maintenance mode until, they, um, until the post fork stabilization. Then they're going to clear all the buys and sells because people that have put buys and sells in while the wallet's in maintenance mode, you don't want those to go through when it comes back. And then when it's stable, they'll bring the Z Classic wallet out of maintenance mode. Then the next part is what's going to happen on the Zencash side of things. Let me talk about that in just a second. So the second part is, when are you going to get to Zencash and when is it going to be available for trading on Bittrex? So May 18th, Z Classic, Zencash, going to fork. Then you're not going to be able to do anything with Zencash until after the launch. Launch is on May 23rd, sometime between 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern time. And then at some point, Bittrex will make the Zencash wallet available for withdrawal and deposit and for trading. And what their statement says, and my understanding of it, is that when the nodes are, are, are running, when there's mining hash power, and when the system's stable so that it can't immediately undergo an attack or things like that, then they're going to open it up for trading. For, for, for trading. Now, you know, 
Bittrex is not necessary for Zencash to launch and work, but they're a huge part of making it available and setting a price and all sorts of things like that. So this is really understandable. Um, you know, as soon as it launches, everybody's going to start turning up their nodes. Uh, mining pools are going to make their pools available. People are going to be pointing their GPU miners at the mining pools. And we're going to get a bunch of hash power going and a bunch of nodes going. I don't know how long it's going to take or what Bittrex is using as criteria for a stable Zencash network. That's up to them. When they feel that it's stable, they'll enable trading. I don't know how long that's going to take. It might be a few hours. It might be a few days. But they're going to make sure that you get your Zen Cash. Big picture, secure nodes. It's going to be 3.5% of the reward, so it's a different way of mining. And uh, going to build, operate, track, and pay. There's a little bit of a problem. We have kind of a chicken and an egg problem where we don't have any Zen Cash. There's nothing for us to pay developers with now. And we've had a prioritization of applications. The first application that we've prioritized is the Zen Cash node software. The second one after that is the wallets so that people can actually use it. And then we're going to be scripting out different things to enable a Zencash node to become a secure node, which is basically a challenge and response system. And then we have to have a way to track that. We haven't even started writing the application to track it and pay it. So the first you know, few weeks, month, it is going to be a little bit of manual type stuff. And we're not really sure when we're going to be able to compensate on the secure nodes. So we're encouraging people to run it, and as soon as we have the, the challenge response system so that you're going to be able to publish and we'll be able to go back and track that, that would be great. But you don't have to be in a rush to launch a secure node for Zencash right when we launch on May 23rd. Okay, some of you guys have been asking me on the Slack, I mean, who is this guy, Block Ops? You know, what kind of experience you got? And uh, why are you out here talking about Zencash and doing this kind of stuff? Well, I'll give you a quick uh, once over on that. So right now, um, I run a Bitcoin altcoin mining business. Started doing that about a year and a half ago. I'll give you a quick tour of our mid-sized facility. And I, I run a website and YouTube where I teach people how to do it. So all the tips and tricks and things like that, I like to share them. Because I figured out a bunch of stuff and, and I like to write this stuff down. And other people seem to find it useful. So I'm happy about that. Um, before that, over a 14-year period from 2002 to uh, 2016, I started and uh, grew and sold an IT business. It was Cisco networking, so we put Cisco phone systems and networks and network security and Wi-Fi and everything into mid-sized organizations, so 50 to 5,000 users, a lot of higher education folks. Um, and we started that, I was doing all the installs, I was doing all the sales, I was doing all the support. Thank goodness we grew to about 60 people and then I think back in 2014 we had about a little over 50 million in sales so it was a decent sized company. Um, but I like new technology so I was very happy to be able to sell that organization to another fine organization and then move on and start doing uh, the stuff with Bitcoin and altcoin. In Colorado before that, uh, I worked for Cisco, before that I worked in the semiconductor industry. Uh, first for a distributor and then for a manufacturer's rep. So um, we talk about process technology a lot and mining, how it affects the equipment that you can buy. Um, that comes out of the semiconductor industry. And then back in Hawaii, I was an uh, officer of the Navy on a, on a submarine. And uh, so helped run the nuclear power plant and uh, went all over the Pacific and visited different places and did lots of stuff underwater that was not really all that exciting and sometimes kind of scary. Uh, in order to do that, had to get um, basically a master's, although it's all classified in nuclear engineering through the uh, Navy Nuclear Engineering Program. And before that, I got my electrical engineering degree at the United States Naval Academy, so one of the top engineering schools. So I got a little bit of background on a technical side. I'm not a software developer. I kind of hack together some scripts every once in a while, but um, that's kind of the background I got. Technical, sales, leadership. I've done a lot of presentations. You could probably figure that out. Uh, so I'll do a quick tour of the facility here. and. Uh, Appreciate you watching. That was a little bit about my background, and I'll give you a quick tour of the mining facility here. It's a little bit noisy, so um, bear with me here. Got a lot of fans going on. We got an assembly bench over here, and then we've got uh, parts, some parts for six more GPU miners that we're going to use to mine Zen Cash, and got a big room back here. You can see that we've got uh, vent fans up top. Each of those are 20,000 cubic feet per minute. 
got 1200 amps of 208 volt three phase coming in here and then we've got intake fans and also uh, Bitcoin miners and GPU miners and more Bitcoin miners and more GPU miners so that's what we got going on Anyway, that was the tour of the mid-sized mining facility. Still building it out, using uh, probably about uh, 200,000 watts right now. I can go up to about 500,000 in this building, and then we'll build another one. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I, for I forgot to say that, you know, we're mining here in the dirty south. It gets hot in the summer. I'm in Georgia, just a little bit north of Atlanta. And uh, oh, last night I had a, a, a chance to get together with one of the other guys on the Slack, mining for bacon. Uh, he was down here. He's also from the Dirty South. Came down from Virginia because, in addition to running a bunch of mining uh, rigs and stuff like that, he also comes down and puts high-speed video cameras in race cars. So he was down here at Road Atlanta. He's like, "Hey, I'm going to be in the area. Can I come check out your mining facility?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." And so he came by. We had some beers, and uh, it was it was a good time. So I've met some really good people through this uh, Zen Cash group, and I'm really excited to meet more. So looking forward to. I'll run into any y'all at consensus and if any of you guys want to talk about uh, GPU mining or other type of mining or come down and take a look at the facility and how I designed it and stuff like that more than happy to host you so appreciate you watching the update look forward to talking to you again soon